Hello everyone, good morning. This is your, well, I was going to say your favorite English teacher, but since I'm your only English teacher, that would be a meaningless statement. So let's just stick with your English teacher. Um, I thought I'd film this little video to supplement the work I gave you on the last day before we broke up. And the idea for this actually came a couple of months ago from one of you who I will not name because this is a public video. But if I say the word spinning wheel, then at least some of you will have uh, some idea of who I'm talking about. Now, the idea that this person had was to deal with some uh, expressions, sayings, idioms, as we call them in English, Sprichwörter, amusante, Redewendungen. Uh, you might say in German. Um, so I've got six of these which I'm going to present to you today. I'll go through them and explain briefly what they mean and then when I've done that I've got a little exercise that I would like you to do with them. So here goes. This is the first one. The expression is I've got other fish to fry. I've written it down for you here so you can see in more detail. I've got other fish to fry. That simply means I've got other more important matters to deal with. And here I've got another fishy one. Britain's clearly a fishy country, I suppose, because there's lots of sea everywhere. That's a different kettle of fish. That's a different kettle of fish. That means that's a completely different matter from what we've just been talking about. That's a different kettle of fish than the third one. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. There's a very similar expression in German with the same meaning. So it means you shouldn't criticize someone for a mistake or a failing that you make yourself. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Then we've got to spill the beans. Beans are born in. And to spill the beans means to reveal something that should have been a secret. To spill the beans. Then all hell broke loose. That means that uh, chaos began. A completely chaotic situation was unleashed. All hell broke loose. And then the sixth one, this is my favorite, and pigs can fly. So you'd use this if someone had made a claim that is completely ridiculous and completely absurd, then you could say in answer to that claim, yeah, right, and Pigs can fly. Okay, so these are the six uh, expressions. And what I would like to do now is this uh, little exercise. I'm going to give you uh, six impulses, if you like, six little situations, little phrases. And you have to try and find an answer to this impulse using one of the six idioms or expressions that I just gave to you. So I'm just going to read out these six impulses or six situations uh, with a little break in between, although feel free to pause or rewind or, or whatever you need to do. And when uh, I've been through them all, then I'll uh, read out possible answers to you. So here goes. This is the first one. What would you answer using one of those expressions to the following? Number one. Oh, could you help me with this little problem, please? Number two. Oh, did John keep our little plan a secret? Number three. Guess what? I got a one in the English test. Cool, huh? Number four. 
number four. Oh my God, what happened when you told Mr. Ferguson that he's a total drama queen? Number five. God, Mr. Ferguson's always giving us detention for coming to school late. And finalmente, number six. Oh, it was really cool of the teacher to give us that lesson off. But what about three weeks without school? Okay, those were the six impulses. And like I said, feel free to pause and rewind if you need to, to try and find the appropriate answer using the appropriate phrase. And now I shall give you possible solutions. So number one was, oh, could you help me with this little problem, please? And you could answer, oh, look, I'm really sorry. I've got other fish to fry at the moment. Number two was, did John keep our little problem a secret? And there you could have answered, no. As usual, he spilt the beans. What an idiot. Number three was, oh, guess what? I got a one in the English test. Yeah, right, and pigs can fly. Number four was, Jesus, what happened when you told Mr. Ferguson that he's a total drama queen? Oh my God, all hell broke loose. Number five was, Mr. Ferguson's always giving us detention for coming to school late. Yeah, what an idiot. He comes too late as well. People in glass houses really shouldn't throw stones. And finally, number six, it was cool of the teacher to give us that lesson off, but what about three weeks without school? Yeah, I know, right? That is a completely different kettle of fish. So that was that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can produce uh, a couple more. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that we shall be seeing each other soon. It's goodbye from me and goodbye from Mr. Lama. Bye.